Welcome back to the 2022 Ohio Valley Conference Football Media Day. Presented by Delta Dental. UT Martin has made their way across the Tennessee River from West Tennessee. Kind of local for two of the players we're going to talk about as well. So we'll please welcome uh, Jason Simpson, head coach, <coughs> excuse me, in his 17th season. You got that right, 17th <laughs> season. And beside him, Colton Dow and John Ford. Jason, welcome. I mean, I, I get, kind of get tired of welcoming you, uh, but it is good to be back in person. Good to see you. No, absolutely. Exciting. This is always kind of marks, the, even though we haven't been in person in the last several years, but this, this is kind of the, the start. And I'll, you know, my drive back today, you know, you start thinking about practice schedules. You start thinking about, uh, you know, getting these guys ready and giving them the best opportunity for, for their season. So it's exciting. Yeah. Colton, welcome, uh, I guess, kind of. And Coach made a great note, and I was going to bring that up, but he's already done my job. Uh, two Middle Tennessee guys not too far from here uh, representing UT Martin today. So kind of talk about your journey to UT Martin. My journey started on um, my junior year, uh, going into that summer, you know, camping, having a good time, going and having fun at different different uh, colleges camping. And uh, Coach Hankins actually came to the school and um, – he said, if you just hold on till Thanksgiving, we got you, we got you. And, uh, you know, I had committed somewhere else, uh, unfortunately. And, and um, come uh, that winter, I took my visit, and it just felt like home in Martin. You know, Coach Sam, he opened up his doors, his house to all us recruits. And uh, it just felt like home, and, and, that, and that's how I got there. So how does the defensive guy make his way all the way across the Tennessee River to Martin? Uh, actually, a similar story. Uh, when I came on my visit, actually I was here with Colton on my visit and another guy from um, in, uh, the Middle Tennessee area. Um, and I knew everybody that, that was in that recruiting class was for, uh, in high school. And so, like he said, it felt like home. The players were really good. The people I already knew were talking about going. So it just felt like home. After I left, the next day I called Coach Sim. was like, I'm on the way. Great news. Okay, I'm going to put you on the spot right away. Share with everyone a success to your longevity. Uh, well, I, that's that's easy. Just recruit men and players like this, and uh, they want to keep you around uh, at your institution. Um, no, but reality, that's that's sincerely. You recruit good good families, good players, uh, give guys an opportunity to, uh, to grow. Uh, and you know, I've said this before. That, you know, our community. Okay, like these guys talk about. You know, filling home. It's it's. It's kind of good for the soul there in Martin, Tennessee. We get to grow. We get to, to grow in our faith. And these guys get to, you know, get a University of Tennessee degree. They get to play some championship football. Uh, it doesn't feel like 17 years. And, you know, i am been able to stay there and watch these guys like these two come and, and, you know, choose a career, you know, meet their spouse and then go out into the world. And um, pretty proud and blessed to be a part of that. He didn't mention the hunting is pretty good too, right? <laughs> I, can't, I can't get these two to go. They let, they let me handle that. No, they're, they're busy being successful. Talk about last season um, uh, and the couple of seasons before that, because I, st I still feel since we're in person, we still got some catching up to do. Right. So uh, you, you had a really, really successful run, Jason. Well, and these guys have been a, been a huge part of that. I mean, you think about this, you have, uh, 16 years worth, and if you go back and look at the, the wins and losses, these guys, you know, five of the year starting they won the most games of any team in this league we were second behind Jacksonville State and they're exiting the league so uh, that's something that these guys be proud of now they'll tell you not enough as many conference championships that we would we would we would have liked a lot of uh, second place finishes but you know they they kicked that door in last year and experienced that and uh, it was great it, it was really neat to be on an, uh, a national stage with these guys last year to you know to you know, play against a two Missouri or Missouri Valley teams, Southland teams, Southern Conference teams, and, and get those wins and then go on the road to a big sky. Uh, unfortunately, you know, we try to do that with, you know, w without Colton. He was hurt and he was out. Without Keon Howard, the, the OVC offensive player, you know, had a lot of guys down and, and John and the defense uh, kept it together and, and, and gave us the best opportunity that, that they could. So uh, we're, we're poised to make another run at it this year, I really feel. Hey, Coach has done a great job of Getting my next lead-in question for for you, Colton. Another new quarterback this season. Uh, uh, Keon Howard with a great season last year. Had a chance to do your Western Kentucky game and kept looking for you. It seemed like I just couldn't connect. And then that, that second, third quarter, you, you two kind of got it going on and, and kind of made those connections. 
are you going to are you involved in breaking this new quarterback in, or or, or uh, you know how how difficult is that? Is that a timing thing? Is that a uh, seven on seven more so? Kind of take us through that. Well, it's funny you mentioned. I wouldn't I wouldn't say uh, uh, Dresser's a new quarterback for me. Uh, Correct. We, we've yeah. been there for you know um, five years together, and and I'm excited to finally get an opportunity to play a full season with with him and and. Um, yeah, I'm just I'm just excited for it. I'm just excited for it. Seven on seven has definitely helped um, in the uh, in the process of, of getting back together. But me and Dresser, we're, we got we got a connection, pretty good connection off the field already, and um, it's just going to leak over. It's going to leak over to on the field. Well, I think you know, and Colin will tell you, I, I don't know that we've had two healthy at the same time as talented as um, you know Quad as the kids call him, yeah. Cornelius Brown the fourth, and, and Dresser and his six year experience. Okay. You know, we had Keon, but Dresser was hurt last year. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I think down back several years ago, we had uh, Jared Neal and Dylan Favre, they're both competing. Mm -hmm. But uh, we got two talented quarterbacks, and I look forward to the, the fall competition. Is that a problem for you? Uh, you know, if, if you let it be. Uh, but I think Colton will tell you and John will tell you is that, you know, it, it takes care of itself. Okay, enough of this offense stuff. <laughs> UT Martin has really progressed over the last eight, ten seasons in one man's opinion here, defensively. There's, there's been a toughness to it. You're a leader on that team. Can I talk about your role in that? Um, I, I look at it as just making sure the, the guys are bought in, um, the, building that culture. Since I've been here, the culture has changed, um, mm -hmm. and, and guys are more hungry. It's not just something to do. You know, We're coming out there with a purpose to be successful when games. You know what I mean? So. Um, that's one. That's my role to make sure everybody's motivated and, and, and not slacking, not taking uh, taking advantage of everyone we get. You know, coach had mentioned Dresser when we were on six seasons, then we've had the COVID, the extension of eligibility, all of that. But you also went through a red shirt issue when you got on the campus. Yes, sir, I did. How did that change you? Um, Help you? It, it helped. It put me in a. I got to, to see things a little differently. Um, coming out of high school, I, you know, everybody coming to high school is that guy, you know. Um, coming my, my freshman year, red shirt, and it was a little eye opening. It gave me a chance to really observe and see how things are supposed to, to work um, and, and pick apart the things that, that's not helping other teams. How much uh, is having fun a big part of what? Oh, most I definitely. Mean, I mean, football's a year round sport now. Yes, yes, it is. And, and it's all fun. Um, just being out on the field with a seven on seven practice when you're working so hard for something and then you get the payoff, that's the that's the biggest thing. Whether it's game, practice, whatever it is, you work so hard and you get the payoff and coaches talk about it, teammates talk about it, it's, it's a great feeling. It's fun. And Colton, how much no fun for you last season with the injury situation? Um, it was tough to watch my teammates play, you know, sure. getting hurt that early in the season um, and how historical that season was last year. Um, you know, I prayed about it a lot. It just wasn't my time. It wasn't my time. My time was, I was meant to be on that sideline, you know, Helping my helping my teammates, you know, giving them encouragement whenever I could. So, it wasn't fun though. It wasn't it wasn't too much fun. So break the season down for me. You also got another visit east to that other team in orange on your schedule. Talk about uh, you introducing Lindenwood here to uh, to the conference. Uh, a little bit smaller amount of teams competing for the title. Kind of what's your approach to that? You, you know, yeah, no, it is different. Um, I don't think it's obviously it's not it's out of our control. We have the most difficult schedule, and certainly in, in my tenure at, at mm -hmm. UT Martin, you're playing two, uh, you know, a, a Power Five and a Group sure. of Five, and UT Knoxville and Boise State. You know, so those those are two games on the road. Uh, you know, non-conference wise, you got um, playoff participant Missouri State, who we beat on the road in the first round, mm -hmm. and Kennesaw State out of Southern <laughs> Conference that I believe went to the third round of the playoffs. Okay, uh, you go play a Southland team in Houston Baptist, right. and then another Missouri Valley team you open up with in Western Illinois. So, very uh, Nash, um, you know, um, competitive schedule. Okay. While we're at OVC Media Days, I have to ask you the schedule or the scheduling question. How did the Boise State game come about? You know, I don't have any idea. I, I really don't. Kurt McGuffin, our athletic director, uh, does a good job with our scheduling. And, uh, you know, we, we just know financially every other year is a good opportunity for us to play the two sure. uh, um, you know, two guarantee games, uh, financial guarantee games, because it just helps our athletic department. It helps our football program. 
Uh, so I guess that's how it came, it came about. So I have to uh, have to step back a little bit and get a little personal with you. Uh, how interested are you going to be on Saturdays? Oh yeah. Uh, oh, 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 trying to watch your son because you've had the blessing of be able to go through yeah. his entire high school career. Uh, and, and now, for, in case you didn't know, Jason's son's at the University of Alabama uh, as a quarterback. H how, uh, uh, how are you going to manage that one? I, you know, it's, uh, I've got a job to do, and, and, and my job is to be a part of help these guys' careers. And so, uh, but I think there's probably f uh, four games that uh, my wife will go to every game, and there's probably four games that, that I'll get to go to. And, and uh, the Simpsons will be in Knoxville on back-to-back -back weekends because, I guess, we're open, and, and Alabama plays Tennessee, and then, then we go the next week. So uh, that would be, that'd be kind of cool. But I'm going to tell you what, and, and these two are, are part of it. I mean, you know, my family's integrated with this program and their families, and that's been, you know, kind of neat. I mean, I looked up on, on Ty signing day, and Colton and his girlfriend are, are sitting there in the gym. You know, and that's uh, – I appreciate that. I appreciate everything these guys have done for my family, and, and I hope they feel the same when they leave, you know, our place. So I'm going to start with John. I'm going to work the way to the right. Finish this sentence. For UT Martin to be successful this season, they must – Forget about the past and work hard. Colton? I was going to say work hard. He took, he took the words out of my mouth. How do you translate, quote, working hard onto game day? What's your approach to that? Preparing the right way, um, being in the film room, um, just making, you checking all the boxes before the game, you know. Check all the boxes you got to, did I watch enough film, did I, practice hard enough, you know, did I spend enough time around my teammates to build that connection? So it all goes into it. And, and um, I mean, come game day, it's a little too late if you haven't checked those boxes already. So I mean, we're, starting, we're starting to check boxes right now. Notice I gave the veteran coach some time to think about this question like he's never been asked that before. Give it to me, Jason. No, these guys are right on track. I mean, they would tell you, and we've talked about that as a, as a team, that build on those experiences and learn from those experiences that you had last year and the success that you had. But you're not defending a conference championship. You have to go win another one. And, and you can't just rush this thing and say, OK, let's get to the conference games. OK, let's get to the, you know, to the playoffs, OK? A Monday, things that have to take place on Monday have to take place, OK? And then, like Colton was saying, then you, then, then you put your head down and then you get up on Tuesday. Then certain things have got to accomplish. So you can't get ahead of yourself. You have to take day by day. You have to, to um, accomplish things. And as Colton said, check the boxes as a football team. And, and then, um, then you can go play and be free on Saturdays. How hard is it to get up on, say, a Wednesday or Thursday morning and get up early to go to work out the class or, or flip-flop on that and, 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 and be John Ford? because it's something I love to do. I love the process of getting better. So I guess the hardest part would be to try to get other people to love it as much as me and want to get up in early and do it. Same question for you, Colton. Um, it's not hard at all. Um, we're blessed to play a game and get our school paid for. So I mean, I wake up every day happy to do what I do. And like John said, it's the hardest part is getting your teammates, rallying them, and, and getting them to do better like they should. Reach, to get them to reach their full potential. Like, this guy doesn't sleep, so I don't, no coach sleeps, actually. <laughs> so I can't ask that question. Yeah, but no, you know, actually, uh, you know, probably sleep more now as I'm older than when younger because you got guys that are, both these guys are graduates. Yep. Okay? And last year we had, what, six six year guys and Rodney Williams and and, and Keon and, and, and six of them and DeBose, okay, grown, grown men that that uh, control our locker room. And then this year we're in the same mode, so feel pretty blessed. So now let's, let's, let's go play and uh, let's have some fun. Look forward to seeing all three of you real soon. Thanks. Thank you for joining us, appreciate it. UT Martin joining us here. More coaches, more players, much more. OVC Football Media Day continues, presented by Delta Dental.